So it seems that the time for speculating is now. Um, 7.3.5 came out today, uh, a couple hours ago at this point. Um, and I was just finished the content of the patch. Um, and at some point throughout the story of it, you come to this little Twilight's Hammer encampment in Silithus, uh, kill a bunch of people, all hunky dory, but there's a rare mob in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if he's up right now. Uh, but it's an ogre walking around. Um, but he drops something pretty interesting. Um, now I'm sure... God, the patch has only been out for four hours at that, but I'm sure... I'm sure I'm already not the only one to make a video on it. So I'm probably already late to the game, but I didn't get to play it right away. So he drops this item right here. Called Ogmot's Dream Journal. The guy's name is Ogmot. Uh, he's in there somewhere. You'll see him as a star on your map. Uh, this is where it is. Like I said, you'll come here. Um, oh, I haven't been there yet. Or there, I don't think. Or there. I haven't been anywhere here yet. What is that? No. No. Not the time for looking around. That's just the door me. Um, so he drops this journal. And the journal has a lot of interesting stuff in it. And it's obviously hints towards Battle for Azeroth. Like, I... I love Legion. But stuff like this little book here... Makes me not able to wait for it to come out. I want Legion gone. I want Battle for Azeroth to come out. That's... All I want right now. <laughs> um... So, we're gonna kind of just read the journal and go over what it might say. Or what it might mean, rather. Uh, this one... I'll read all the pages anyway, but this one... Kind of inconsequential. Ogmot was this puny boy fighting at the war camp when the masters first blessed me with divisions. I came to Silithus. I'm not gonna do that. I came to Silithus to the great wound seeking seeking wonders. Make Ogmot your vessel, masters. Uh, this is the great wound. If you couldn't tell, that's uh, spoilers. That's Sargeras's sword. Um, this is all after you beat Antorus. Um, Argus is no longer in the sky, which freaked me the hell out when I realized that. Um, so, Journal 2, Journal Entry 2 is when it gets kind of interesting. Last night, Ogmot dream of great battle. Two fleets bashing on ocean of blood. Shadows twisting beneath the ships. Rising, rising. Ogmot so happy watching the carnage. Then Ogmark gets whacked up by waked up by skirtering sounds. Stupid bugs, don't matter. Ogmot knows these dreams soon come true. So obviously, two fleets bashing on Ocean of Blood. It's the battle for Azeroth on Quotiras and Zandalar between the Alliance and the Horde. One can assume. Who knows? Maybe there's two other factions with two other fleets out there that we don't know about. Um, then shadows beneath, or shadows twisting beneath the ships, rising, rising, Ogmot so happy watching the carnage. Now this, we already know Queen Ashar is going to be involved in the, uh, expansion. Um, I'm not going to say any more, just in case people don't know, um, the role she is going to play. Actually, I guess we technically... Nobody really knows, but people kind of know. Um, but I think it's more than likely that uh, the shadows twisting beneath the waves, beneath the ships, sorry, probably a little bit of Nizoth. Because uh, I ain't good with all that fancy editing stuff, otherwise I'd put the picture up on the screen. But if you look at the old world map, uh, you can find it online, I imagine, or... You can, if you have the Warcraft Chronicle, it's in there. Um, in between, like before the Sundering, you son of a bitch. Um, before the Sundering, the, uh, there was like, northeast was Kulturas, southwest was Zandalar, and smack dab in the middle was Nizoth. And 
still, to this day, it seems like Kulturas is going to be the north or northeast island, Zandalar is going to be the southwest. And if it's two fleets, like, clashing in the middle, it makes sense that Nizoth would still be there, in my opinion. Um, I'm not the only one who has said that, I know, but I firmly believe it. I believe, uh, Noble? Noble? Said it, and Bellalar. Bellalor. I don't know how to pronounce anybody's names. Um, obviously, the skittering sounds is just the sylphids that are in the zone, because, or maybe the scorpions, I don't know, but there's bugs in the zone. That's, I don't think that's anything worth mentioning. Um, and yeah, the dreams will soon come true because expansion. Um, life comes back to this wasted land. First the bugs come, now the gobbies skulking round. They crave into world blood. Ogmot, I'm sure of that. I'm sure of it. Bah! Let them have these drippings. Soon Ogmot gonna drink rivers of blood. The Master's Promise. Uh, the world blood. Kind of already explained, but it's all this stuff leaking out of uh, the wound in the world in Azeroth from Sargeras' sword and the Azerite and all that. Um, if I were to fly around to the other side of the sword, you could actually see goblins mining the Azerite already. Um, but that would take a long time to get over there, and I'll be on like two pages ahead by the time I get over there, so I'm not going to do that. Um... Today, smoke rises from the campfire. Smoke tell Ogmot good story. Ogmot sees Lady wrapped in dark swirlies. She leads herd of blind sheep. The sheepies follow her everywhere she go. Do everything she say. Never doubt Lady. She guide them over... What the hell? I switched to Geico and got more. Hey guys, uh, switch to Geico. Insurance. This uh -huh. video is sponsored by Geico. An award-winning mobile app. Um, well, it is more. Where is oh, that coming more. from? Mobile ID cards, emergency roadside service. Where? More technology. Where? I can That's even annoy your driver. Right from her phone. Exit out Geico. of everything. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Huh. Well, that just shows how unprofessional I am. Uh. I don't even know if you guys can hear that, actually, but I just had an ad for Geico playing in my ears. Um, where was I at? She guide them over tall cliff. Splat, splat, splat. Stupid sheepies. The crows get fat eating the sheep flesh. The lady laugh as crows eat. Ogmot laugh, too. This is probably the most interesting of the... Uh, Oh, what you call them? The entries in the journal? Because the way I see it, there's three possibilities for who the lady wrapped in dark swirlies is. Um, I feel like the more obvious answer... Well, the most unlikely answer, I guess I'll start with Queen Ashara, because she's a lady, and she's not exactly a good lady. So I think she's an option, but I think she's unlikely. She's not really leading anybody anywhere, and I'm assuming the sheep refers to us, the players, and the factions, not the Naga. Even though, yeah, they probably kind of follow Queen Ashara pretty blindly, too. But if they all die, that's really none of our concern. We just don't get them as an allied race in the future, which we're probably not going to anyway. Second option... Obviously, the one and only Lady Jaina Proudmore, the Dreadlord. Except she's not a Dreadlord, but that sounds like something a Dreadlord would say, doesn't it? Um, it's uh, and just this goes for both of them. One, the one is Jaina, one is Sylvanas. Sylvanas literally wrapped in dark shadows, or dark swirlies. Sorry, um, but I don't think it's supposed to be taken literally um what i can only assume it means is that everything's gonna go to shit obviously um now you know whichever one of them it is leading us or if it's both of them because 
They're both ladies. Sylvanas literally wrapped in dark swirlies. Jaina metaphorically. Um, God, the poor girl's been through so much. <laughs> um, the crows, though. The crows, I assume, are going to be related or are going to be uh, the old gods and their minions. Mostly the minions. Mostly the minions of Nazoth, I would say. Somehow, uh, kind of like absorbing the sheepies, sheep flesh, and growing stronger from it, maybe. Or, maybe uh, that's how some of the the old god minions are created. They're just malformed versions of uh, races that currently exist. Kind of like the Flood in Halo. Kind of like a parasite that takes them over. Uh, and then Ogmot's gonna laugh. Except not anymore, because he's dead. Poor guy. Uh, this one actually pertains to uh, this right here. To an extent. This sword that I cannot get in the entirety of my screen. Um, that blade has shiny eye, always watching us. Why you no see it? Three lies, the first one been told. Round by that throne? No, free, free. The next gonna come soon. Maybe they see this one. Now that I, th uh, oh wait, I've been reading that wrong cause I have fake dyslexia. Bound by that throne. That blade has uh, has shiny eye. What if that's pointing towards Frostmourne? That'd be pretty neat. I mean, Bolvar's being a bit of a dick. I wouldn't be surprised if he got up to something, but I doubt they'd make that a huge focus in battle for Azura. Um... Once again, I'm not good with editing stuff. Uh, let's see. It's just... Yeah, it's just capturing the window, so I could just pull pictures over, I guess, from the internet. Um, bear with me for a second here. Uh, Varian. Rin. Sword. It has a bit of shine going on to it, doesn't it? It's bound by a throne. Who knows? Um, now that I'm reading that right, that opens up a lot more possibilities, I think. Uh, I don't know what it could mean by uh, three lies, though, and the first one been told. I can't... Unless it is relating to Bolvar, and the first lie was... Convincing the Death Lord, or was it Dread Lord? I think it was Death Lord. That uh, who's Death Lord? What the hell am I talking about? Dread Lord or the Nathrezi? Uh, plus the first lie was convincing the Death Lord to kind of rebuild the Order of the Heaven Blade for the good of Azeroth. I did air quotes there. Um, beyond that, I don't know. But I also don't know what round by that throne would mean anyway when I was reading that, but it's what I read. Hmm. If anybody's watching this, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below for what you think that might mean, because I'm actually really curious about that one now. I can't think of any other blades with potentially glowing eyes that would be related to, uh, main characters at least. I doubt it's, um, uh... You know, level 25 piece of green sword. I don't know. Um, let's see. Next. Uh, other hammers here now. They talk They talk and talk about Argus. About the one that got wakened. About great victory that our enemy not even notice. But only Ogmot sees divisions. Other hammers not blessed by the masters. Ogmot share his dreams with the others, but the skinny one just laugh. 
Ogmont no like her. Literally have no idea what this means. Uh, I thought the skinny one was going to be somebody I encountered down in this camp. Um, like there's a quest NPC you have to kill, but it says Ogmont no like her, and the quest NPC was a guy. So, I don't know if it's something that'll kind of be revealed later on in the story of the zone. And if it is, I'll make a little follow-up video on it, but uh, for now, literally no clue um, anything about this. Just that the other Twilight Hammer members did not believe Ogmont. Um, and I also, a great victory that our enemy not even noticed. I can't really make anything out of that either, to be honest. Uh, this is kind of where it trails off a little bit, but I'll read the journal entries anyway. Uh, many days pass with no visions. Did Ogmont make the Masters angry? Me gonna make sacrifice. Please, the Masters. Remember Ogmont. Uh, this one's actually, no, this one's really interesting. Um, the star watching Ogmont. Too shiny. Ogmont gonna hide from it. The dagger spoke true. It been too long since Ogmont got drowned. Masters, no forsake Ogmont. Now, the star could literally mean that. Um, that being what's left of Argus once you beat Antorus. And I don't know if it, uh... I don't know if it's just there for everybody now that I think you can go fight Argus in uh raid fight or LFR now I think so uh yeah seat of the pantheon Nagamar and Argus um so maybe it's just there for everybody now I'll have to check on a character that hasn't beat Antorus yet um now the dagger I think for this one it's pretty obviously everybody's favorite naifu Xalatath, I believe. I don't really play Priest. Um, I just know people lovingly call it the Naifu. Uh... Xalatath. Blade of the Black Empire, yeah. This thingy. Um... I really can only... I'm not even gonna guess, uh, guess it. I'm gonna say that's exactly what it's referring to. Uh, I don't know what happens to our artifact weapons. Um, but I'm going to assume we're going to see Zalatath again at some point in the future. In this expansion, even. Or this coming expansion, rather. Um, uh, as, uh, with, uh, se or it's been too long since Ogmok got drowned. I literally have no idea what that means. He's an ogre. They're stupid. I don't know. The bones got picked clean. But Ogmont still get no visions. The others laugh. Say Ogmont not devoted. But me is the chosen one. Ogmont no lose faith. Another sacrifice? Yes. One more of them ain't gonna be missed. I don't know what it means by one more of them. I don't really think that's important. Because, again, Ogmont is... Ogmont's really a side character. It's just some of the stuff he says in the journals that's important. Um... Roused by her screams, stirred by the whispers. A blessing comes from the masters. Now Ogmont understand. A door. A path. Ours. Ours. Fool. The circle awakened us all. Now... I don't know... Er, well, no, I do... Have a faint idea. Of what this, um... This this is the last entry. I do have an idea of what it's referring to. Um, roused by her screams. Um, spoilers for Silithus, if you haven't done it yet. Spoilers for the new Silithus, like 7.3.5 Silithus. Um, around the end of the current quests, you run into Magni. 
And Magni says, like, along the lines of... Actually, it should be down in here. Um, because this is... I'm recording this immediately after I finished it. Um... Since returning from Argus, the cries of Azeroth has been, have been overwhelming. Such pain. Um, roused by her screams, I can only imagine... Azeroth! Just screaming out in pain, and only a select few can hear it, like Magni. And Ogmod, apparently, but he's dead, so it's okay. Stirred by the whispers... I think that's pretty obviously the old gods. Um, I don't see how it could be anything but. Um, a blessing comes from the masters. Now Ogmot understand. Again, nothing in that little sentence there. A door, a path, hours, hours. Mm, nothing really there. In full, the circle awakened us all. Now, I don't know necessarily obviously what that means but all I can think of really is uh this right here this is a circle you know uh I've always thought that this little red and black really cool looking red and black thing in the center might be a portal of some sort uh, it obviously doesn't go anywhere when you fly into it you can just go stand in there but a portal's kind of a door. Who knows? You know? It's all just speculation. Pretty dumb speculation, in my opinion. I lost a journal. Um, but I don't know what else the circle could be. Um, oh god, I'm high. <laughs> uh, in the game, not in real life. But I just thought... You know, not a whole lot of speculation, I suppose, but more just kind of rambling on but I just thought Ogmont's dream journal was a really interesting uh, item that they added in um, it's just little shit like this that isn't specifically uh, said and it's kind of something you have to find in the world that is probably the most exciting part of uh, you know like speculating and waiting for the next expansion because now I'm fucking hyped for all this and can't wait to see what comes next from all this if uh you know we're gonna find Ogmod's younger brother uh when the new quests for this come out and uh you know does he have a dream journal <laughs> can you go up to the top of the sword now um so yeah I you know, thank you for listening to me ramble. Uh, if you did, um, if you have any thoughts of your own, feel free to plop them down below and we'll talk. And my god, I'm up high. Didn't realize they raised the ceiling. I'm going to jump off this. Off camera. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I will see you in a week or so when new stuff comes out, I think. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>